The 2023-24 Antarctic season was one of the longest on record. Those working and living at Australia's Antarctic and sub-Antarctic stations, as well as those in Tasmania or further afield, have achieved some incredible things this year. Let's have a look back at the season that was. The season started earlier than ever before, with Noyena breaking ice at an unprecedented time of year for a winter medical evacuation from Casey. Noyena kept motoring along all season, transporting huge amounts of cargo and fuel to Davis, Casey, Mawson and Macquarie Island. From the sea to the sky, and the Wilkins crew produced their annual miracle, getting the ice runway up and running. The ADF lent a hand, combining with the AAD to deliver a spectacular airdrop to the folks at Mawson. Antarctic and Southern Ocean science has never been more important, from high in the atmosphere to the depths of the ocean. Our scientists have been tackling the big questions. The Denman Terrestrial Campaign saw dozens of science and support staff living in a remote deep field camp. The work done at Denman, particularly around climate change, will inform multiple fields for decades to come. Also on the cutting edge of climate research is the Million Year Ice Core Project, with more crucial equipment delivered by our Traverse team this season. In the water we were listening to giants and shining a light on the smallest and most important sea creatures in the Southern Ocean. There was also crucial wildlife and seabird monitoring, understanding how these iconic species are responding to a changing environment. We provided support for the government's budget decision to rebuild Macquarie Island Station a nine-year, $371 million project. An expanded marine park for Heard Island and McDonald Islands was on the drawing board, strengthening efforts to protect an Australian landscape and marine environment that is unlike anything else anywhere in the world. This season, the AAD signed a lease with UTAS to build the Southern Ocean Research Aquaria, which will strengthen our scientific ties to the Deep South for decades to come and allow Australia to continue to lead in this type of research and management. Further south and our tradie and infrastructure teams are our backbone for keeping the lights on, the heaters running and most importantly our expedition is safe and allowing productive science to continue. Again, none of this would be possible without their skill, dedication and expertise. And late in the season, there was good news for Macca, with new accommodation pods delivered, which will bring living standards for our expeditioners into the 21st century. <laughs> Supporting our people helped achieve all of these successes. We're investing in the future delivery of the Australian Antarctic program by streamlining our recruitment processes and ensuring we're sending the best people to deliver our activities and projects. This is only a walking distance from the station, so I mean, how lucky are we? Our polar medicine team supported our people at stations and on voyages. At the summits, expeditioners spent time with experts across five days, ensuring they were well prepared for their time down south. And through our media engagement, we took our incredible stories to national and global audiences. All sorts of obstacles have been overcome in season 2023-24. Changes have been made, success has been enjoyed and challenges learnt from. And now there's been another epic chapter added to Australia's Antarctic legacy.